Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new, hi, I'm Jeanette from Boricua Sewing and Crafts. In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys something that I got and I'm going to be using it. And this is called, um, uh, it's, well, it's, it's a little kit that I bought. It's called Floss, Floss Finder. Now, this is usually how people store their embroidery uh, thread. Now, not the machine embroidery, the ones that people use for hand embroidering, right? Which I want to get into also. But anyway, um, in my last videos, um, one of the things that I talked about was, um, I'm going to show you guys right here, these uh, color cards. I get these from Madeira, right? And I really, really, truly love them. And I'm going to tell you why. Because when you look at these, and I'm going to show you up front, these are the actual thread, okay? These are um, the thread, and it, right next to it is the number. And I really love this because when you are working with a customer and they're looking at threads, I want to show them the actual thread with the actual color that they are picking, okay? Unfortunately, one of my favorite threads, which I love, is the uh, new brother uh, the Brother Reed, okay? I love this brand a lot, and I've recently found out that they now have the huge sprules, okay? Love that, okay? And now I believe I am going to continue to use this brand, especially now that I can get the big sprules. Um, it's 60 colors, and it's usually the colors that I'm always using, and they have other colors as well. Um, they're much more affordable than the Madeira, in my opinion, um, but one of the things that I don't like is that when you order the thread, they give you this piece of paper, okay? And, um, you know, it's okay, but the thing is, I am really a big fan of color cards like this with the actual thread. And I'm going to tell you why, okay? I'm going to pull out one of the threads, okay? This is uh, number 17, and this is from brother um from bro broth reed or bro bro thread i'm sorry bro thread i keep saying it wrong um and i want you to take a look at the color and i'm going to put this up close as you can see this is number 17 right and you can kind of tell it's a little faded and stuff there's a little white in there and then this is my actual thread so when you're working with a customer and they want to know what type of thread you have available, it really does help when they can actually see the actual thread themselves because they get a better idea of what kind of color that thread is. As opposed to this, as you can see, it is a little faded. It looks a little um, like it looks like it has a little white in there. So it can be kind of deceiving in a way. And the last thing you want is to have a problem with your customer when the customer comes out and goes, no, I, I thought the, the blue was going to be a little a little uh, faded or something like that. So I prefer to always show them this. So I was thinking of a way of how can I create my own of these uh, charts. Now, I'm sure that, that um, the company um, probably doesn't do this because this is not a cheap chart to come by in any way. If you really look at it, um, Madeira has a whole lot of colors and each of these are threaded and I had to pay for my uh, color chart, okay? So, you know, I'm sure that if they wanted to provide this to the customers, it would be pretty expensive for the company to make and... Um, you know, so I kind of understand why why they don't, okay, and why they go to the paper version. This is more economical for them, and for them to keep the cost down, obviously, you know, they can also sell us the thread at a more economical rate. But anyhow, I do like this, and I prefer to have this. So what I did was I um I went online and I found this, and it's it's like a kit, okay. It comes with this turning wheel. It also came with this little bin, and I don't know if I'm gonna need the bin, but that's okay, it's here. Um, and then this is one of the things that I really liked about this kit. It came with these little um, rings that you you know you can just tie, 
and then you can um, have the tags and these tags are plastic also so I wanted to show you guys how I'm going to be using these and I have a couple of ideas on how I can do this I can use the box so that way I can carry all of them around I probably won't because um, it's 63 colors and and it is just embroidery thread I don't think I'm really going to need that um, but I was thinking of the ring that came with it. This is pretty neat. I can put all the colors in here and then have the customer look through. And then um, I can just indicate in here what number that thread is. And then I was also looking at the cardboard that I use for me to um, fold my uh, fabric. I was thinking one of the things that I can do is as I wrap all of the individual threads on here so the customer can see the color, I can probably put them on here and maybe I can like draw lines or right next to it, I can write down the number that's associated with that color. And it also gives the customer a visual. But I wanted to show you how this works or how I'm going to actually be doing this, okay? Um, so anyway, I'm going to be using scotch tape, okay? I think that some folks, they tie a knot, and then what they do is um, they, they put it in this slit. However, though, this is machine embroidery thread. It's not the actual hand one. I think the hand one is thicker, so it'll probably be better. I don't think the machine, um, the embroidery thread, if I tie a knot to this, it's not going to stay because this is um, 40 weight, and as you can see, it's very, very thin. There's a lot of space in there, so I don't think this is going to stay. So this is how I'm planning on doing it, okay? But let me show you how the wheel works. And that's, this is the reason why I have wanted to get this kit, because I think this is, like, super cool, okay? This comes with this little wheel, okay? And what it is is you just, it turns for you, okay? It has, like, this little uh, peg in here. The peg comes out very easily okay and it's like it's for you, it's to turn it so that way you can um you know uh wrap your thread around the tags a little easier okay i'm going to show you how to do it um and you're going to use the case that came with it and then what i do is i take this and i'm going to push you back a little bit um so that you guys can see hold on i'm gonna push you back because i want to make sure you guys can see this because I think this is really cool, and this is definitely going to be something that's going to work for me. Okay, so the way you put this on here is, remember, this had like a little peg. Okay, and you can see it's a little smaller, then it's a little bigger. So it's a peg that goes like right in here. Okay, so what you do is take the peg out, and then you're going to take this where it has a little circle, and you're going to place it. In here and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the peg in okay there you go All right so once the peg is in you see it turns pretty cool huh so anyway but let me show you how I'm going to do this this little slide right here it's like a little niche it's for you to like slide it somewhere so you can hold it so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slide it on the on this side right here and it's pretty snug, see? And then I can just go like this. Isn't that cool? All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my thread, okay? And I am going on the tip, I'm gonna take a piece of tape, and I'm actually going to put it on the edge. I think I cut too much of tape. Hold on, let me just cut a little smaller piece. There you go. You don't need much. Okay. There you go. See? Like that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it on here. Okay. And see? Now it's starting, right? And then I'm just going to unwind some of my thread. And then I'm going to hold it. Not pull it, you're not gonna pull it, but you're just gonna hold it and then you're just gonna start turning. And I'm gonna turn and turn and turn and turn until I have the amount of thread that I already want on here. 
Now, I don't need a whole bunch. I just need some. There you go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the side that has the tape already on it. And it's this one. And then I'm going to take another piece of tape. And I'm just going to tape it on right here. And then I'm going to take a scissor. And then I'm going to cut it. All right. So now I'm going to take the peg out of here and I'm going to remove this. I'm going to put the peg back in. And now I have my own. See, isn't that cool? Now there's two ways that you I can store this. Now, first of all, you can keep these in a box that it came with and you can just throw them in there and then, you know, and you can like write on here. You know, I don't want to write on them. Um, even though this is going to be permanent because I'm never going to take this out. This is not thread you're going to use. This is just threads for the customers to actually see. And as you can see, when they see this and they say, oh, I like this color, it's exactly the same color. Okay? The same, same color. There's no misrepresentation of the type of color that they picked as if they if they were looking at that color chart. I don't even know where I placed the color chart. But anyway... Um, yeah, I just had it in my hand. Don't know what I did with it. Okay. But anyway, oh, here it is. See? So it's just so much better. And look. Look at the difference. See? That's the thing that I don't like about the paper ones. It's because depending on the printer, depending on the ink, that's the type. That's how it's going to come out. Sometimes it's close. Sometimes it's not. But if you do something like this. This is very, very precise. This is the actual thread. So even if I was to go ahead and move it and see, you can see that's kind of like the bottom. Maybe the ink um, wasn't good on the printer when they gave that to me. Okay. But the thing is, when the customer sees this, they're going to know exactly the color that they are getting. And that's what, that's the point I'm trying, I, I want to like come across. That's so important because the last thing you want is customer issues. Okay. They could come out and say, oh, I didn't know if that was the color and I thought it was lighter, darker, whatever. Now they know. Okay. Now there's two ways you can store it. You can write the number on it if you want. And this is permanent. Once you have it done, you're done. That's it. You keep it with you. And you can um, write down the, the brand and the number. Okay. And then you'll know. Um, and then you'll know. If it's, it's like, oh, then it's this one, number 17. Then I'll know. Okay. Um, or, you know, you can use these little rings that came with them. You can use the little rings. You know, so you can put the numbers and stuff in the way to store them. You can put them in the box. You can use these little rings. Or if you want, you can try to make like a little book like this. Okay. Which, you know, this is like a little cardboard uh, paper that I have. I could fold it in threes. Okay. And then I can um, just tape this on here. Okay, and then right next to it, I can write number 17, have all the all the colors coming down. So I can create all the rows, okay, and then just have it. And then you can just, you know, fold this in three, and then you can just, you know, title it saying, you know, brother. Uh, I keep saying brother, but it's bro, bro, bro thread, bro thread. Somebody corrected me on that. <laughs> but the bro thread, and then... You can just put bro thread and then you can just, um, you know, tape it on here and then just write the number and the customer can just look at it and say, yep, that's the color that I want. Okay. So I just want to do it real quick. I'll do another color so you guys can see exactly how I do this again. Just in case you guys missed it. Um, let me see. Let's pick a color here. Um, let's pick. Oh, let's, uh. And this is another one. Look, Deep Rose. Deep Rose is 86, right? Okay, well, let me go get 86. And I'm going to have to open up the big thread because I am very, very low. No, this is not it. This is, I am very, very low on. I'm going to have to find Deep Rose in the big thread. I can't find it. All right, so let's pick another color. This isn't gonna work. I don't have. Uh, I can't find it easily. Can't find it real quick. All right, let's pick another color here. Um, let me see. Mm, 
612. Okay, 612. Where's Swiss? 612 here. Um, 612. Got 612 right here. All right. Here is 612. Okay. Um, this is the small one, but you know, the, the big ones match. Uh, very, very similar. So this one, I don't think you would ever have a problem with a customer because this looks very, very similar to the one that's printed on here. But it, you guys can see what I'm talking about, right? Like, look at number 85. Do I have an 85? Hold on, because I know I was looking at 86. Where's 85? I do have 85. Here you go. All right. Here's 85. That's a better one. See how it's different? Very hard for the customer to tell. Okay, so for 85, I would do the same thing. Well, I'm going to do them for all of them, but I'm just going to take one of these, okay? And make sure you see exactly how I do this. I'm just going to take a little piece of tape, okay? Put it on the edge. I'm going to put it on here. Tape it on. Now I have to put it on here. So to put it on, I take the little tab out. This, oops, be careful you don't drop that. <laughs> you don't want to lose that tab because then if you lose it, it's like, eh. Then you push it in. Okay, there's a slit. You just slide it in, line it up. Let me, uh, let me make it a little so that you guys can see exactly, okay, because... Let me put it to you this way, like here. There you guys go. All right. Right here, there's like a slit. There's a slit right there. You just put it in the slit, okay? Take your little thing, put it on here, okay? And then... You just take out some from here just pull it and you know I know you know you guys probably like oh my god you're wasting you're really not because remember it's not like you're going to re-thread these all the time once they're threaded that's it you use them forever okay as long as you use this thread and then I'm just going to turn 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 oops got something caught on it so make sure that you don't <laughs> have stuff caught on it oh god I made a mess Okay, Let's see if I can get this out. There you go. All right, guys. Okay, so hold it nice and tight. See if um, you know, you want to you want to try to bunch them up together. Okay, you want them to to be together so that way the the color can show. I'm gonna try to move some more here. There you go. So the color can show. And just push them together like that. There you go. And then once you feel like you're good, then on the tape that are the plate, the side that I already have the tape, that's where I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna put more tape on there for the other end. You know, that way they can feel the thread if they want. Take this out. Is that that? There you go. Okay. See, this is the part that doesn't have any of the tape. But as you can see, it's the color of the thread. And then this is the back where you have the, the tapes. Okay. Anyway, guys. Just wanted to share this with you. I think this is a... Great, great alternative to, um, you know, to creating your own color cards. Um, I know that some people are like cop copying and pasting and trying to create their own paper cards. And I think that's okay. You know, me, it, it's just a personal choice, you know, for me. And it's just something that I feel that really works well so that you can um, really... Um, you know, give a, a customer a better experience, in my opinion. 
because the last thing you want is for a customer to be upset because they thought they picked a particular color and they really didn't you know um you know they it was it was totally totally off so uh yeah so i think these these work i think these are great options for you um you know you can like i said you know you can take the ring let's see let's take this off so that you can see this has like a twist to it i think i'm doing it wrong there you go am i twisting it off or on okay hold on all right i'll have to figure that one out but i got several of these these several of these came in the kit okay and see you could just do a whole ring you can you know and then you can just go like this you know oh here's the little top thing did i do it right nope did it wrong it's the other side see i just got this so i'm trying to figure it out <laughs> but see you would just go like this and then you turn it and then there you go and then you have your ring you have your your ring of your colors so when a customer asks about colors you can you can have the the colors and i would put back here and i would write on the tape i wouldn't write on this but i would write on the back number 17 and then in this one i would write on the back the number that this one is and then you can have all your colors in one ring and it's easier for you to carry around if you have to meet a customer so anyway guys just wanted to share this with you. I think this is um, a really, really nice alternative. So, um, you know, if you guys are interested, I will put the link below on the video description so that you guys can see the exact same kit that I got. This was not expensive at all. God, I don't remember the price, but, um, you know, I will, um, I will show you the link, but it really was inexpensive. It wasn't that expensive at all. I'm trying to look it up real quick for you guys, real quick, so that you guys can see know how much did how much did Jeunesse spend on that um let's see let's see let's see where is it um it was oh I'm sorry okay let me I misspoke okay the case this case I bought individually that case was 921 and for this for this for all the tabs for the the rings okay and the turner that was very very inexpensive at eleven dollars and sixty five cents eleven dollars and sixty five cents and you can create your own your own uh scorecards to me that's not a bad price at all so anyway well, anyway, guys, just wanted to share and stuff. So, um, but I will put the, the links for both for, for the case. I think I'm going to end up taking the case back. I really don't think I'm going to use this at all. So this will probably go back. I'm not going to use the case. However, though, this is pretty, pretty neat. I like this window thing. The only thing is, if you don't get the case, you got to look for a place in your house that you can pin this to because this is pretty narrow so you need to like push this down somewhere um if you have a box maybe like a, a shoe box or something like that and you can just put it on the side and that way you, it can it can hold while you turn it and stuff i'm sure you can find something to do that you don't have to buy the box just to hold this i wouldn't um just get a shoe box or something and it'll work just fine or, you know what, um, tell your hubby to hold it for you while, while you turn and stuff like that, you know? Um, you know, but to me, um, yeah, I don't really care much for the box. This will, will definitely be going back. But this kit that came with um, the rings, okay, because I, like I like the rings. I like the way this looks. At first, I was kind of like, oh, it looks kind of funky. No, it doesn't. It looks really cute, especially when you start adding all of them. That's going to look really, really cute. All 63 colors, that's going to look cute. So, um, and then you can carry it around. And then what I like, too, is you get 120 of these, right? So, you can, you know, and there's like 60 colors or 63 colors. And so, you can do like two separate sets. One that you can keep in your bag to travel with you and one you can have at the shop. 
when um, folks need to, to look at it. So, you know, I don't think this is bad. You get um, four rings, you get four rings, you get the turner, and you get um, 120 pieces of these, and they're plastic. These are plastic, these are not paper. So this is uh, pretty good. So anyway, guys, just wanted to share and stuff. Hope you like this video, and if you do, give it a thumbs up. I'm always um, trying to look for ways to improve things and stuff, and I have no problem sharing the knowledge and the wealth and all, and, and all that good stuff. So hope you guys like it. If you're new, please subscribe to my channel. And um, I'll see you guys on Friday. I do embroidery, hap um, embroidery happy hour every Friday at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So I'll talk to you guys later. Happy sewing and happy embroidering. Bye.